here's my garden. So I came out today and um, I noticed that some of my plants, namely this pumpkin plant here, and that zucchini plant, that one right there, look at awfully wilty. See that one? Happy, healthy. That one, not so healthy. So I came out and um, I looked at my other pumpkin plant, which is now here. I ripped it out of the ground <clears throat> because it's infested with squash vine borers. <clears throat> and I maybe shouldn't have ripped it out of the ground because um, I just read that you can perform surgery on your plants and get the little monsters out that are killing them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I thought I'd just uh, video it in case anybody wants to see how to remove a squash vine borer. I don't even know if it's going to be effective, but I have my scalpels here. Um, I have a knife and a razor blade. <laughs> And I don't know which one's going to be the most effective, but we're going to come over here and I'm going to see what I can do to take care of my poor pumpkin plant. Because as you can see, I have a pumpkin. I have two pumpkins and I would love for them to last. But if you look, I don't know if this plant is savable because look at the root. See how it's rotting away? Yeah, that means that larvae has gotten in there. So... I'm going to see what I can do to, so what you're supposed to do, they say, so, well, here, we'll, I don't know if you can see this, this rot in here, yeah, that's squash vine borer business, and this right here, um, yeah, it's probably kind of blurry, this stuff, it looks like pulp, yeah, that's sign that a borer got in that one, too, so, um, Oh, this is just so gross. So you're supposed to slit open the vine. And this very well might kill my plant. Oh, I don't even want to see this. This might be so completely disgusting. I don't even know if I can get it open. I'm going to have to cut a little bit more of it away so if I can see if there is a nasty little larvae living in there. <clears throat> uh, maybe I should have chosen a sharper knife, huh? Oh, and there it is. Gross. Can you see that? Yeah. Come here, you nasty little bug. If I can get it. <laughs> See that? You can see that. It's all blurry because it's so sunny out here. Gross. Well, that was what's killing my plant. Might as well just do it. I lost. Two pumpkin plants last year, these little monsters, and I put nematodes in my garden this year, hoping that it would keep them away, but clearly, oh, yuck, disgusting, oh, there's another one, can you see that, ugh, Probably really blurry. Yeah. It's completely disgusting. Ugh. Alright, so here's the damage. I had to totally, well, you can see I kind of taped up one of the vines. I'm not taping this one up, and I'm going to tape this one up because there's a pumpkin on both ends, and I don't really know what the best solution is. Red both. Um, but you can see I've had to take chunks out of the vines all the way up. There's been nasty little larvae through this entire plant, and I don't know how to prevent them, but I will figure it out. Um, they say that you can tape the, gosh, it's bright, 
They say that you can tape up the bases, but I don't really know how that would work because clearly the stupid um, little things go all the way up the vine. So, um, anyway, I know for sure that that's what's going on with my zucchini plant, and so I'm going to go do surgery on that, and then I guess I'm going to go double check all my other squash plants because uh, they could start dying tomorrow for all I know. Looks like these little suckers can really do a lot of damage in a short period of time. So, anyway, um, I'm going to cover up the roots and as much of this plant as I can with a whole bunch of soil and just hope that it heals itself. I guess it was going to die anyway, so uh, the experimental surgery hopefully was worth it, but we shall see.